my channel Art Jeff Shop. Today is the second episode of the importance of savings and investments. So, guys, as we saw in the first episode, I will I said that I will speak about the different types of investments in this episode. So, let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Woo! So guys, in the last episode, I explained about how to save. So this is a very good example. So this is a piggy bank my nani had gifted me. So if I get any money from my birthday or any festivals like Diwali, I take the money and I put it inside the money safe and I store it. Once the money becomes approximately 5,000 rupees, I give it to my dad to invest. And guys, do you know, my I, when I give my dad 5,000 rupees to invest, he adds another 5,000 rupees, which makes it 10,000 rupees, and he invests the 10,000 rupees. So guys, but where do I invest if I want to invest the money? So that's what I will be talking about in this video. So watch till the end. Okay guys, so the first and the most easiest form of investment is fixed deposit. So the first point is, where is the fixed deposit happening? It happens in the bank. So guys, as the name explains, it will be fixed. So every year in 10,000 rupees, I will get 7% of interest, which means growth. So in the 7% of 10,000 rupees is what? Yes, it is 700 rupees. So, if I invest for 3 years, how much money will grow? Yes, the answer is 2100 rupees. The 2100 rupees will grow. So, guys, what are the advantages and disadvantages? So, the advantages are it will grow on a fixed percentage and it is guaranteed that for sure the bank is going to give the money back. And what are the disadvantages? The disadvantages are that out of 10,000 rupees, you only get 7% every year. So the next form of investing is in the property. So in property investment, so today we can't buy properties, but if our parents buy a property, example in Ahmedabad, for 25 lakhs currently, then we give the property for rent. So we keep getting, getting a monthly income. And five years later, if we see the price of the same property is 30 lakhs. So, we can also sell that property and get extra 5 lakhs and get a continuous income. So guys, the advantages and disadvantages are that I get rent income and value appreciation. And the disadvantages are that for all other types of investments, I can invest in small amounts. But for this type of investments, I need to invest in a very big amount. So guys, the third type of investment is gold and silver investments. So if I buy a gold and silver coin or bar it right now, then the, it's very precious and every year the rate goes very high. The advantages and disadvantages are, so in the advantages, this is a very, very safe investment. And in the disadvantages, it is that it's not fixed. The rate can go higher or lower and your income can go higher or lower. Okay guys, so the next type of investment is the shares investment. So if I buy the shares of the company Infosys, which is into IT and makes softwares. So if I buy their shares and they do very well in their software and in their company, they give me the money back which I gave them to help make the software, which is called the dividend. And if I sell their shares in, in, in future, that time the value appreciation will be a lot. So guys, what is the disadvantage and advantage? So the advantage is that I, it's possible that I get value appreciation and it is also possible that I get a lot of dividend and the disadvantages are that I can also make a loss that if the company doesn't do well, for example, then I will make a loss of a lot of money. 
Okay guys, so the next type of investment is the mutual fund investments. So in this investments example, I don't have any knowledge of which companies to buy the shares in. So I give example 10,000 rupees to an expert fund manager who has a lot of knowledge and will invest, uh, take buy shares in different companies that he feels are very good. He can buy shares in different companies like Infosys, Tata, Reliance and HDFC etc. So guys the advantages for this are they are all different industries so I can get the profit of and the dividend of all the companies and if one company makes loss it's not a big loss for us because we yet have a lot of dividend in many other companies and guys there are not at all any disadvantages in this the first point because we are giving it to expert fund manager and this is one of the best type of investments so guys the next type of investment is the overseas investment so today did you watch any app of netflix or prime video yes i did did you play any games like roblox or fortnite yes my friends also did and did you use any apple products like an iphone or an ipad yes my dad did so the thing here is a very good new option has come that you can invest uh, or buy shares in abroad companies world over so if they are doing very well in their companies we get a lot of dividend and a lot of profit so guys the advantages are that you can buy the shares in any company outside of india also and there are no disadvantages too in this type of investments guys i hope you like this video but before ending it i want to give five tips or to invest your money so the first tip is you should give time for your money and let it grow the second tip is that you should not be greedy and not invest in bad companies the third tip is that you should always monitor your investments of how it is growing the fourth tip is that if you are confused about what to do you should go to an expert and the last and final tip is that you should start investing from right now like me so it will be very helpful to you in the future and guys hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and guys it's a lot of learn videos now and now we have many series of fun videos coming soon so stay tuned hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next video bye bye take care